the skills or the character of Capricorn, which means it's about resilience. It's about hanging in there, going after what you want. So this is really helpful and you may notice or you may want to go back at the full moon back in June and what the topic and topics and themes were back then so that you can continue there or from there and help yourself more in this way to achieve your goals. So you know or you notice where you need to make or want to make adjustments. The second topic I got is increased change and that's just referring to the speed and for to all the light we are getting presently. So the self-discovery is highlighted if it's your intention but I believe people who are listening to that are into that. <laughs> so as we know self-discovery is finding out who we really are, that's what it's about. Now, um, so you are more aware of your inner strengths and your intuitive wisdom and your intuitive skills and that makes it easier for you or even make you capable to navigate the chain of challenges which present themselves now with more compassion and with self-control because that makes you be in control and that's the important thing. If you are in control, no one else can control you, manipulate you, etc. So it's really important to acknowledge this and also acknowledge if you need some rest because make sure you're getting it now before these Leo energies are really coming into motion. Yeah, we're, we're now in Leo season and um, it's really important to find a balance between your practical and creative sides with this energy so make, make sure you're well rested and you're fine and also the big question is where, how can you express yourself in alignment with your long-term goals because that is what you can now put some effort in because the energy is supporting it so you will really find it a lot easier to achieve what you like to go to achieve. So make sure that you keep up with yourself, with your energy changes and that you don't rush into changes in the outside. Yeah, we have that, this is an ongoing theme because we just feel that we want change. But everything has to be ready. And it's sometimes not easy to be patient, yeah, but self-control is a must now. It's really important so that you're not regretting anything and that you are happy with yourself and with your life because that's what it's all about. And that's what is so supportive and helpful for the collective to help with the change that we're going through, the big transformation. Yeah, and the mass message from the masters is quite or very much in this direction because they said you are living in times of change, challenging, frustrating at times because you may want to see a certain change and then you may get impatient, tired and asking yourself why did I not yet achieve that, why is this not achieved yet in the outside, it's so obvious, etc, etc, etc. But and then you may also think, oh, uh, I'm get annoyed and frustrated because you think like other people have to understand it and they don't and why don't they and all this, yeah? But it's not about that. It's about centering yourself, about slowing down, breathing, getting back to the here and now and acknowledging the perfection of the universe. Um, and when you are in the here moment and the now moment, you, you can only notice that. That's the only way to notice it and that's what is always presented. And even if you are, nature is always showing us, and even if you are in the midst of the storm, you notice the perfection because that's also happening for a reason. Like we had very interesting weather now 
that was not summer. You can see me here, I'm sitting here with a long sleeved shirt <laughs> because we have temperatures like in spring, in early spring and it's like April weather in June, yeah? But that's it. We know when, we know which times we're living in, so yeah. Try to always calm yourself, to center yourself, to breathe and to think of what can you do right now, right here and do that because that's where your power is and it's all about discovering this power and using it. Lots and lots of love and of course if this helps you please subscribe to the channel also subscribe to hike dance on instagram where the guides have their daily say and to feel good workout hike about it where the guides are guiding us to release trauma from on a cellular level and to process the energies to help us yeah with anything <laughs> lots and lots of love and i see you for the next update